Hey everyone, welcome to today's session. This is an active recovery, full body dumbbell only workout that you can do at home. Uh, the idea here is not to go all out. So don't use dumbbells that are too heavy. If you do want to turn this into a, an intense workout, then you can, just use heavier dumbbells. But the idea here is not to do that. I've really enjoyed putting it together, so I hope you enjoy it. If you do like it, don't forget to let me know in the comments. So first up is dumbbell plank drags. This is a great exercise for core stability, uh, but it's also really good for working your chest, your front shoulders, and your triceps. If you do find this is a little bit difficult with supporting yourself on your one arm, uh, you can always go to your knees because it will take some of the pressure off uh, and make it a little bit easier. Next up, Renegade Rows. So much like the exercise before, it is going to work your core but the idea is to work the opposing muscles now. So you will find that you should be working the muscles in your back on this exercise. Again, if you do find it difficult, you can always go to your knees just to try and make the exercise a little bit easier. Next up is dumbbell deadlifts. So this is an exercise we're all pretty familiar with. It is gonna work your lower back, your glutes, and your hamstrings. The main point to be made here is when you're doing deadlifts, keep your back straight. So don't let your back round. Next up, dumbbell rows. So this, for a lot of people, is a pretty familiar exercise. It is gonna work the muscles of the back. Key point here is to try to not swing too much from the hips. So you really wanna keep the focus on the muscles of the back. Pull from your elbows and really try and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Really try and get that mind-muscle connection. Focus on the muscles, not on momentum. Next up is the dumbbell clean and press. So this is a great complex movement. It is gonna work most of the muscles of the body. It's gonna hit the lower, it's gonna hit your core, it's gonna hit the upper body. So this is a good exercise to incorporate all of the muscle groups. Uh, just try and keep a, a steady pace and try and maintain balance throughout. Next up is the alternating shoulder press. So this is a little bit more isolated than the exercise before. It's gonna work the front of your shoulders, your triceps. Uh, it's still gonna work your core. You'll notice how I put my left foot forward just then. Uh, this is to help with stability and it does take a little bit of the pressure off the lower back. So if you find that helps you, then give that a go. Next up is the push up into clean and press. So the last exercise is a little bit more isolated. This one we're going back to a little bit more of the compound full body functionality. So the push up again is going to isolate the chest, front delts, triceps and your core. But then as we move into the clean and the press, you are gonna focus more on your front delts and your triceps. So it's a great full body exercise.
Next up is the goblet squat. So this is going to work your lower body more than anything else, but you will find that it's gonna work your core as well. And that's just through the sheer design of holding a dumbbell in front of your chest and it's pulling your center of gravity forward. So it's gonna require your core to engage to, to keep you upright. Next up's the lunge into shoulder press. So this one's a little bit tricky. It does require some balance. If you find when you're lunging and you've got the dumbbells on your shoulders like I've got there, it's a little bit too difficult. You'll notice that I do get a little bit wobbly on a couple of the, the reps here. Just hold the dumbbells down next to the side of your body and just do a, a normal lunge. Uh, the idea here is I just wanted to incorporate more muscles than you would normally when you do a, a standard lunge. Next up's the dumbbell clean into push-up. So this is a good full body exercise. Uh, just make sure you do both arms for the clean and then you go into the push-up. It's kind of like doing a burpee, but way more interesting. Next is the lunge into dumbbell curls. So we're doing lunges again, but this time around, instead of the shoulder press, we're gonna be doing a bicep curl. So same thoughts as before, instead of just doing a lunge and working the legs, we're trying to incorporate more muscles into the movement. Next is the deadlift into upright row. So once again, we're trying to incorporate as many muscle groups as we can into the movement. Uh, one point to note here is try to have a, a split second between the two movements just to break them up. Uh, so you'll notice that when I do the deadlift, I pause and then I go into the upright row. The reason I do that is that if you don't, you may find that momentum will just take the weight all the way up to the upright row position and you may forego some stimulation for the shoulders by doing that. Next is the deadlift into dumbbell row. So this one's a little bit tricky, it takes some coordination or maybe it's just because I'm not coordinated but I found that I have to really concentrate on doing the deadlift then going back down and then coming up and doing the row but again it's just incorporating two big compound movements there, just trying to engage more muscle groups in the one exercise. The next one is bear crawl into push up into deadlift. So three exercises all in one. This is the bear crawl out from the wall into the push up bear crawl back to the wall and then pick the dumbbells up to do the deadlift. Uh, so again, we're trying to incorporate lots of different movements in one, trying to stimulate as many muscles as we can in the body. Okay, next is the side to side goblet lunge. So this one is designed to work your legs, uh, puts a little bit more focus on your inner part of your legs. Um, and again, holding the dumbbell in front of you in that goblet position, it's just gonna help to engage your core a little bit more than if you were to hold the dumbbell down lower.
Last exercise, the alternating clean and press. So we have done a clean, alternating clean, but this one's a slight variation on it. So this one is a clean and then to a press. So the idea is that with this one, you're gonna engage your shoulders more and your triceps, whereas the previous one, uh, it's just using momentum and it drives the weight up there. So just targeting the shoulders a little bit more in this particular exercise. So that's it guys. Like with any workout, make sure you stretch and cool down. Hopefully you enjoyed this workout. Hopefully you got some value from it. Uh, if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Make sure you like it so that I know that you do like stuff like this uh, and I'll continue to make more of it. But again, any suggestions to improve, by all means let me know. Be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon.